I'm Tina Laster and you're back at Laster Farm. Today I was just outside checking on the animals and it's such a beautiful day outside. And so I was going to let you know about our chicken coop and my plans for that. Looks like we have some nosy little critters coming over to say hello. <laughs> anyway, the chicken coop. I love the chicken coop, but with the horses and the donkeys, the horse has broken off the door. She's nudged it open with her nose and the glass is falling out and broken. So we're going to have to fix that. But I'm wanting, I'm really wanting to move the hen house down behind the house beside the greenhouse or in front of it in the garden bed area and redo our chicken coops and tear all of this down just put up a straight fence along the back to connect the back of our pen but you know it takes time and with all of our other projects going on it really needs to be the first project that we do but we will see <laughs> every time we get in the pen fiona wants to play she always wants us to pet on her and love on her and she is such a darling she's such a sweetheart but that's one thing one other thing that i would like to do this year and um the other barn is it just needs cleaning out um we have like a, a small pen inside for like baby chickens and for one some of our hens when they get broody and i just want that little as a like a cage of like three or four runs i just want to move that out of the barn and that barn has four stalls in it and then it has a big open space in the middle that's i think 12 foot wide and we haul we keep our some of our baled hay in there and we keep our um, feed for the animals in there. Come on, Fiona. And this pen over here, it used to be for our um, cocooning coon females that we no longer have. And, and sometimes we keep the ducks enclosed in that small space and it's like a I don't know about a 16 by 16 space that we keep them in sometimes you know to keep the predators away and Bonnie our sweet Bonnie <laughs> just love our animals yes yes but this and this pile here that is our mulch that we have gotten from our hay over there when it's all on the ground. We don't have a round baler, you know, a round hay ring to hold the hay in. So therefore they pull it down and what's all over the ground, we move that with the tractor into this space and then I turn it or Steve will turn it, my husband and it mixes it up and that's what we put in our garden beds oh me oh man she's still wanting to play she thinks we've got snacks but i'm anxious to move this pile i know it's probably not going to be nearly enough to go in all of our garden beds because i want to have quite a few garden beds this year i loved my raised beds last year uh, we have four, like I said, but we had 10 raised beds that were only 12 inches high and they were eight by fours. These are two foot tall and they're four by eights. And so I've enjoyed them better this year, except for our tomatoes. It was a little high to reach some of them. So I don't know if I'm going to make some of the garden beds 12 inches tall just for my tomatoes and my okra. I haven't thought about that.
and our two cooney cane males looks like one is inside of the house and the other one is kind of chowing down on some some little leftovers from supper tonight And here's our garden beds that I showed you yesterday. I can't wait to get outside for the weather to be warm. For us to start cleaning all of this out of our garden beds. And then I'm ready to get started. So I'm going to add the rest of that compost to the top of this. But before we can do that i want to move them i want to move them into this space but i'm not sure if i should put my chicken coop here or if i should put it in the middle and put garden beds all the way around it so i can you know throw the scraps and leftover or you know food that has spoiled in the garden throw it into the chickens or I don't know if I should put it on the other side of the greenhouse. Now, yesterday I showed you this space that was over here. Um, it's still a pretty good size space. And I still want to do something with it. I don't know if I want to add a porch onto the side of this little building or not and put my little, put our outside kitchen here. That would make more sense because that has a kitchen inside there and it has a full bathroom. But I'm just still kind of drawing everything out on paper. And like with this area here, we had our raised beds all in this space last year. Um, well, I say last year. It was the year before last. And we started tearing those down last fall. So, yeah, we did have we did have those beds last summer. But I didn't have them all filled with things because we started taking half of them down. And we started making those. So, I still don't know what I want to do back here. <laughs> but you know i know it takes time i think once we get one thing built and we get that in place then we get another thing built to go with it we'll know what to do afterwards you know like where to put the chicken coop where to put the raised beds but we've got to know pretty soon because it's going to be time to garden but i'm so anxious to get out here and get started so should i put the chicken coop here. I want to put a, just one 16 foot run on it. I think the building's like a 10 by 12 or a 10 by 10. I would like to have the run maybe here with the coop back there so I could kind of see my chickens. But if we do a fire pit there, I don't know. But my husband thinks I should put it where those garden beds are over there along the fence over there but i'm not sure and back to the wood pile this wood pile i'm going to use cardboard that's in the greenhouse to put down and then i'm going to put this rotted wood down in the bottom of those beds and then i'm going to put the hay mulch and then i'm going to put the composted mulch and the dirt on top of that and i'm just i'm ready to get like i said i'm ready to get started i'm beyond ready to get started i saved a lot of my seeds from last year and so i'll have to get with you and show you all those seeds and we'll have to sit down and we'll have to plan out what our garden is going to look like for this year and i can't wait like i said i can't wait to get started well thank you for just walking around in the yard with me today and i appreciate all of your subscriptions to my channel 
It's really helped me out a lot and I look forward to seeing you till next time. So have a blessed day. Bye.